What advice do you have for MBA reapplicants? Yeah. Don't despair is the first, <laughs> <laughs> the first, the first uh, uh, tip. I mean, I remember every year we would have people reapply and be successful. So um, definitely reapply, but you want to do so intentionally, you know, make sure that you've had some change in your profile, hopefully a positive change over the last year. Maybe the quant was a weaker area of reapplication. So you've retaken the GMAT or GRE. Maybe you've taken some quant courses, you know, online or that sort of thing to strengthen your quantitative profile. Maybe on the other hand, you know, you were starting out maybe two years out of college and you've gained another third year. Maybe you've been promoted ahead of your peers. Maybe you're working on interesting projects or you've become a manager. So anything interesting that has um, evolved in your profile over the last year, you want to call out to the admissions committee. And that will really be the reapplicant essay in most cases, what's changed in your profile. So don't just submit the same old application, get new recommenders, new essays, make sure that it's fresh and that you can show where your profile has grown over the last year and where you've learned, okay, this is where I was intentional about working on these one or two or three things that I felt I needed to submit a stronger application. And guarantee every year, there's a really strong number of successful reapplicants. I remember mm -hmm. quite a few um, when I was at Wharton Lauder. So it's definitely something you should consider. And I think it's great to do it because you, you, you can sort of reflect back, okay, where did I need to maybe correct, work on it, do it, and then hopefully you're, you're successful. <laughs>